Until you've actually visited the Carillon playing room, a lot of people just think it's a machine and perhaps played by a computer. No, every time you hear the Carillon playing real music, not the clock chime, it is a live human being giving expression to the tower. It is a concert instrument. My name is Andrea McCready. I'm the Dominion Caroliner of Canada. I play the Carillon, or the bells, of the Peace Tower on a very regular basis, more than 200 recitals a year. In the Peace Tower there are 53 bells ranging from the Bourdon, which weighs over 10 metric tons, to the smallest bell weighing, weighing about four and a half kilos. So the 53 bells are attached uh, stationary to a bell frame and the only thing that moves is the clapper. The clappers are not dangling free, they are attached by a wire transmission mechanism to the uh, keyboard itself, uh, which is sort of midway in the tower. Um, we have manual keys, uh, ranging all 53 bells, or four and a half octaves, and in addition we have 29 pedals, which also play the lowest 29 bells. The keys are arranged like a keyboard, like the black and white keys, as are the pedals. It looks like an organ because it has a pedal board, but it's much closer to the piano because it's a percussion or touch instrument. Uh, the keys are too big to be played with your fingertips, so we turn our hands sideways and play with a lightly closed fist. Prime Minister Mackenzie King, when he dedicated the Peace Tower and the Carillon in 1927, he named it the Voice of the Nation. And I really take that uh, responsibility very seriously.